Just to give an idea of the versatility of the rod, I'm out here today on the Grand going after smallmouth and I've got a, a really kind of ugly fly here. It's weighted, big rabbit strip wing, rubber legs, big ugly thing. And I'm going to uh, throw this fly all day and we'll see how we make out. And of course this fly kicks like a mule which is to be expected given the size of it and the weight, but I want to see, show you what this Asquith will do, even when throwing something that's kind of out of its comfort zone. You would think of this as being a nice dry fly rod, you know, a nice wet fly rod, small streamers, and here I'm casting a bass bug line with a big ugly fly on the end, and just see how we do. Now on this stretch I don't have to be accurate. I mean the advantage of the rod for me here is its ease of casting. I can just gently lay out this heavy weighted fly and have it turn over okay. And if I want to false cast it, not that I would normally, but you see no problem at all. Nice and easy. Lays it out nice and smooth. And that, that's kind of the advantage with the rod is it such a light casting rod and such an easy casting rod that you can really back off the power when you're throwing a weighted fly and just lay it out there and it just goes. You know, you're, you're not putting any power in whatsoever. You put power in with a weighted fly, it bounces around. It kicks like a mule and it doesn't lay over straight. With this rod I can just take my time, boom, out it goes. I'm casting over 50 feet here without doing anything at all, hardly. No double haul, nothing like that. Just lay it right out the way it goes. There we go, fish on. Oh, he's off. Now, I mean, you're going to say to yourself, why do you need the finesse and uh, the accuracy and the sophistication of this rod for smallmouth? Well, obviously you could fish for smallmouth with a a lesser rod, no problem at all, that's not the point. If I'm going to be out all day fishing, I like to be able to fish comfortably and easily, not wear my arm out. Really enjoy the experience. And if you're casting with a heavier rod, clumsy, clunkier rod, rod that makes you work, you know, it's going to take some of the fun out of the day. Very, very light casting rod. I'm getting upwards of you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 55, 60 feet now. I'm not doing anything. It's just, I'm just waving the rod in the general direction of the river and it's just going out there. Oh, oh shoot. Got him again. That was interesting. I thought it was two different fish. Oh, this is a half decent fish. It's either two different fish or the same one hit and hooked up twice. He has about one pound. But he is not giving up. There we go. Go back and send me your bigger sister. Great loop shape control with this rod too. It tracks so straight and it's so responsive that you can really control the shape of your loop. I'm throwing bigger loops because this is a heavily weighted fly, but there I threw a tighter loop. You just you hear a thunk as it went out. There we go. There we go. Oh, shoot. God. Oh, God, it's back off again. Wow. There must be a bunch of them down there. Well, oh, just another hit. They're certainly after that fly. They like it. Let's see if we can get a, them to come back for more. There we go. 
Oh, this is a better fish. Oh, a lot better. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tough, tough fish. I mean, this one's only about two pounds, probably, maybe a little bit more, but he's giving me everything I can handle. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. There we go. I mean, the ease with which this rod handles this heavily weighted fly, it's just great. There we go. Another one. Okay, come here. And there we go, got him. I mean, this is just one cast after another. I'm hooking fish. It's got the power in the butt section to uh, bring the fish in. And yet the sensitivity in the tip to keep them buttoned up. And if you had a fine tip, it would protect it as well. Yeah, about a pound. They do love this fly. It's uh, rubber legs, hackle, and a rabbit strip wing, and a uh, bead head. Does quite well. There we go. I mean, this is just fish after fish. Every cast. Oh, he's off. I got a little sloppy there. That was my fault. Well, oh no, I guess, oh, he's off. No, he's back on. Or that's another fish, one or the other. Come here. Yeah, one of the advantages of the Spiral X construction is it resists overlization. So I'm holding my rod high, pulling these fish in, grabbing the leader, and I'm not worrying about the tip. It's got that much strength in the blank. This is about a pound. Come back here. 50 foot cast, and it's just out there like nothing. Ah, another fish. Can't believe the amount of fish are in this little spot. Say, so yeah, I just, even though this fish is not done yet, I'm just leaning over the rod tip, grabbing the leader, and then I can release the fish. This is a light presentation style of uh, taper. Designed for casting small flies, protecting fine tippet, managing a fight of bigger fish, and protecting that tippet. And as you can see, it's still able to handle a bass bug line. Oh, got off. And a uh, heavily weighted fly with a big rabbit strip wing. No problem whatsoever. And this is just a five weight. So if the five weight can do this, you can imagine what the bigger rods can do. A little tap there. Oh, first one on the strip. Oh, he's a little guy too. I love these fish. Come here. There we go. Okay, here's a good example of fishing. The Loomis Shimano collaboration, the Asquith 9 foot 5 weight with a bass bug taper line and uh, really heavy weighted fly.